One of the things that our uh, DOC did over the weekend uh, was received a communication from the U.S. Centers for Disease Control, the area called the Strategic National Stockpile. This is where the uh, U.S. Centers for Disease Control uh, coordinates uh, and stockpiles um, antiviral medications, uh, personal protective equipment, and other uh, supplies uh, in the event of situations like we have here with uh, swine influenza. Uh, they made a decision over the weekend at uh, CDC to uh, distribute 25% of the supplies that they were holding uh, for our area uh, and to distribute that to us. So we will be receiving as early as tomorrow uh, supply, uh, antiviral medications and other supplies to augment uh, those resources that we have now. And let me just give you uh, just some, some rough figures on that. Uh, we currently had, uh, in terms of antiviral medications, uh, about uh, 49,000 uh, uh, doses of, um, of the antiviral medication, courses of the antiviral medication. Uh, the uh, allocation that we will be getting from the U.S. Centers for Disease Control uh, this week will add uh, about 625,000 uh, courses of treatment uh, to that. Uh, to that total, which will give us a total of about uh, 675,000 uh, courses of treatment. I would also like to say that uh, in those uh, supplies that are still uh, available to us as we move uh, through this event, there are additional 1.8 million uh, courses of treatment uh, in uh, b between what the state of California's health department has stockpiled for LA County and the remaining amounts uh, in the federal stockpile. So we have the ability as uh, this moves forward to put into place uh, t uh, in excess of 2.5 million courses of treatment uh, uh, for uh, people in this county who uh, would be sickened by uh, swine flu. Uh, as Dr. Miskola said, there are uh, no cases currently. Uh, those medications would be used exclusively for individuals who are already sick uh, per uh, CDC protocols.